Hi, it's me again. One of the things I want to discuss um, about my son's death. And I'm going to be doing this for a little while since I'm on temporary disability because it's hard to get back to life after such a tragic event. The thing that I think about is that people say maybe some good can come from David's death. I have to tell you that nothing good can come from David's death. Nothing. His death was bad. It was horrible. It still is. After two and a half weeks, going on three weeks, as his mama, nothing good can come from this. Now, if people seeing what's going on and, and what's happening to the lives of those that loved him or knew him and cared about him or were friends or whatever. If people are influenced to make changes in their own life, that's good. But it's because people choose to make better choices for themselves. And that's good. But nothing good comes from David's death. David's gone. And it's It's horrible. Devastating. And I'm going to keep making, we're going to keep making, Jeff and I are going to keep making video diaries so that hopefully other people will understand that if they're depressed or if they're having problems, that suicide is simply not the answer. It's simply not, especially when you leave your loved ones behind heart. David may have ended his own pain, but in his death, he created so much pain for those who loved him. Especially being his mom and thinking about when I first found out that I was pregnant with him and I was so excited. I was so excited that, you know, in nine months I was going to have a little boy. Well, I mean, of course I didn't know when I got pregnant with him, but that it was, you know, going to be David. But when we had the sonogram and found out we were having a little boy, we were just ecstatic. And we named him right away. And I referred to him as David while I carried him in my womb. And I played classical music for him when he slept. When I played classical music when I slept and close to my belly so that he could hear it. And I think that's partly why he became a musician because he started his life with music. And I read to him even while I carried him very intelligent young man, but I don't understand his intelligence, why he took his life. That Thursday I asked him what was wrong and he wouldn't tell me. I don't know. I just don't know. But it's so hard. It's so incredibly hard. When somebody commits suicide in your life,
everybody deals with it differently. And since May 19th, I've cried every day. Every day. And I'm sure that the tears are not going to stop for quite a while. I keep telling myself, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. So if you're watching this, don't do it. Don't take your life. Because it's just not worth it. It's not. And I know that all the videos are going to say that. But it's true. If you're depressed or suicidal, don't do it. Don't take your own life. I'm here to tell you how much it hurts and how much you break your heart, the hearts of people that love you and care about you and the t lives you touch. There were literally hundreds of people that came to my son's funeral, even though he led a very quiet life, very quiet, personable life. I mean, very personal life very quiet life with him and his wife and, and and you know he wasn't big on crowds crowds of people around him all the time and like his mom and dad but he had touched hundreds of people he touched so many lives and he had no clue No clue. He was loved by lots of people. Anyway, it's time for me to go do grandma duties, which I'm happy to do. My grandbabies are very special to me, and so are my daughters. All my daughters. And my son in law, too. Okay, well, it's time to yeah. I hope you have a good day. I know I'm gonna try. <laughs>